Peter Radke at the Missouri State Fair. We're at the Beef Showcase. I'm here uh, talking about my children's books and working with the Missouri Cattlemen's Association. We're doing beef demos and it's going to be a great day. But in walks Laura Ingalls Wilder at the Beef Showcase. My daughter's a huge fan. So number one, I just selfishly want to interview you. But also, I love anything that maintains history and celebrates what makes this nation great. So I guess for starters, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you got started playing the role of Laura Ingalls Wilder? Well, my name is Kathleen Boswell and I live here in Sedalia and I have very vivid memories of fifth grade. My homeroom at school was the library and every day I'd go back in to get the new Laura book that was that, that I hadn't read yet or I also read all the Hardy Boys and Nancy yes, Drew and of everything. Course, yes. But I just was always fascinated with Laura. And I was shocked when I got to college and was going to teach English and found out she lived just about three hours down the road from me and our lives overlapped by about six years. Wow. And I was just devastated to think that I didn't actually get to meet her. But I was too young to even read by the time she died. Sure. Anyway, um, I, on a kind of a fluke, decided I could do this for the place that I work because we did an event called First Fridays. Okay. And so we had everybody famous that we could get through the Missouri Humanities Council. So I said, okay, I'll do it. Well, it was so popular and so well received that I ended up applying to be on the Missouri Humanities. Wow. So they pay me to go around the state and do the portrayal of Laura and to keep the history alive. She lived here in Missouri for almost 70 years. Wow. You know, it's it's wild. I think my daughter has just found her dream job in life because she's going to want to be Laura yes. now when she grows up. Because, yeah, yes. it's, it's so fun because it's, it's the stories are um, transcendent over generations. Yes. You know, I enjoyed them as a little girl. She eats them up and loves the history, loves baking like Laura, yes. loves living like Laura. And there's just really good um, moral messages yes, too that I like definitely. in the stories. I really enjoy being able to share the values that they had. Family was so important. They had to entertain each other so much of the time, especially like the long winter, that was just them yes. trying to survive and to be thankful for what you have. Absolutely. Um, I do the portrayal as if it's 1947 okay. because Alonso died in 49 and I don't want to deal with anything sad. Yeah. But a really good reason for doing 1947 is she had started writing the books when she was 60 years old to try to earn some money so that she wouldn't lose that farm. Her daughter had said, Mom, put your money in the stock market. Well, then it crashed, and they lost everything that they put in. So she started writing the book. At first, it, they had said, no, we don't have any need for an adult book, but maybe if you take a small part of it and write as a children's book. So it was so popular, children started writing to the publisher saying, what happened to Laura and her family? Sure. And they said, we've never had a serial line for children. Laura said, I don't mind being first. Yeah. So that's how it happened. But she was into her 60s and she was writing during the 30s. So it was the depression. Um, books weren't always the same size. And by 1947, she knew they were going to all be redone with Dark Williams art. That's the one we know now. And they were going to be all nicely the same size, beautiful covers. We do judge them. By its we do, yes. And also, she knows they're going to be translated into both Japanese and German. Wow. Because they were going to be sent to those two countries after the war as part of the um, re-education. And they especially sent that, the Long Winter book, to show how every people have problems that you have to just survive. Overcome. And yes. Yes. I read The Long Winter actually in... 1997 when I was in elementary school and our family was snowed in during the big blizzard of 97 and it helped me out it helped me think like have that mentality of Laura and I think it really helps and you know I grew up 
Uh, my mom grew up in the Smiths, or like north of the Smith, South Dakota, over by Lake Preston. And so I, I grew up hearing stories about Laura and getting to go visit her homestead there and Swan Lake. And yeah, it's just, I, I always encourage kids when they ask book recommendations. I mean, of course, I can talk about my own, but uh, that Laura Ingalls Wilder is a great chapter book with good moral values. And your kids are going to become stronger, more resilient, more centered in their faith and family and all those yes. good things. I do some of the programs faith-based. I do special ones for children, and um, I've even done one for a genealogy group because wow. Ma, Laura, and her daughter Rose, all three had baby boys that died in infancy. So there was nobody in that lineage sure. to carry on that family yes. name. So I'm just thankful she had the books that we all get to know on Ma and So where can people follow along with everything that you're doing? I'm so low tech. I am so much a Laura. It's like, I don't have a website. I have a friend who has offered to try to help me get okay. a thing. But um, with yeah. the Historical Society post things that you're doing? Uh, yes, Missouri Historical Society or the Missouri Humanities. They partner together for the speakers. Awesome. Zero. Awesome. Well, you made my day, Laura Ingalls Wilder. Thanks for coming yes. and visiting with us. Yes, and I'm so excited to see your folks. Yes, yes. I'm Amanda Radke at the Missouri State Fair. We will check in later with another guest.